Welcome, family and friends. Thank you for joining me at What Else? Maria loves to talk, and what am I talking about? Guess what? Nope, no perfumes, no candles, nothing like that. I am talking about Brian Kohlberger and the Idaho Four. I want to delve in today more into the two young ladies, the two witnesses. I've been looking just like you guys and everybody else and I'm just still baffled. My little brains is just, you know, like bunkering. Why, why, why did it take eight hours for someone to call the police? Also, I wanna talk about Brian and his parents or his siblings. I wanna talk more about that. So, hey, if it's something that you interested in you want to know my thoughts my little ideas about it i want to know how many women yeah i'm going there i want to know how many women detectives fbi agents are working this case or, or who are who have been talking to uh the young ladies the two survivors bethany funk uh, Dylan Mortensen. That's why I want to know. Okay, so hey, you know the drill. You know the drill. Go get you. And hey, I want to tell you one more thing. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year, you guys and girls. And I'm wishing everybody get into this video. So what I want to start off with something I saw. I'm going to start off with the two young ladies. So again, they have caught, thank goodness, uh, kudos to the FBI uh, in Idaho. They say, according to them, they were on it uh, two weeks after the um, ambush or the um, massacre. But they didn't catch old boy until, what, December the 30th, right before um, New Year's, which is great that they did get him. So what, and I believe they're saying that he's still saying or just standing uh, on that he is innocent. They got the wrong guy. I think we all saw the video where he asked, or, or uh, I don't know if I saw the video, did they get anyone else? And I'm thinking, is he trying to play us? Is old boy trying to play us? Is he trying to say, hey, you're getting me, but there was another person, or are there any other people? I want to know, because I know his family have money, why is he using a public defender? Really? He really thinks he's going to get off, you guys. So let's get into this. What I'm bothered by, um, I saw the two young ladies, uh, I guess they, they had them uh, covered or protected, or uh, I noticed that they said that Dylan Mortensen, she was the young lady who um, said that she heard the noise, she heard the voice, she heard the dog, she heard somebody saying, uh, I'm gonna come get you or help is on the way. She heard somebody whimpering. Uh, she came to the door. I don't know if she came to the door, but she saw and watch my previous video when I talk about the different psych psychics uh, tarot card readers who were really close. A lot of them was on the money. Um, but what I find so weird, if you saw this man or this person, ninja, whatever, why didn't you go back in your room and just call 911? Why would someone look out the window or whatever she did uh, and, and go back to bed or, or was she sleeping? Did she sleep from four, whatever time it was, 4.30 until 12 o'clock or 11 something when she called? What, what was what was really going on? What was the other girl? Okay, so if it's two girls, I don't care if it's three girls and we're sharing a room, believe me, because I've, I've been on a couple of cruises and things had happened and uh, I'm not gonna go into what had happened. And I had woke some of the ladies up. Hey, you, did you hear that noise? Hey, did you see or did you feel anything funny about the um, the waiter that was serving us or something looks like it's missing or been moved? You just heard your friends 
upstairs crying and whimpering, you see someone you don't know leave out the house, leave through a sliding door, and you don't wake the other girl up. She didn't wake Bethany Funk up to let her know, hey girl, hey, hey chick, we we are uh, we're in danger. Uh where's your phone? Uh I, it, it makes no sense. I'm not trying to say that um uh, Dylan is in on it. I'm not saying that Bethany, I definitely would say Bethany's not in on it. But we really need to examine, I'm curious again, uh, we need a female detective, FBI agent. We need to bring this Dylan back in and we, we need to ask some hardcore um, questions. Um, so let's get into some information I just saw. Um, and this is on heavy.com. I couldn't find anything saying what is her major because if she is, um, I'm just gonna put it out there. I really wouldn't want her with me if we were out on a camping trip and somebody uh, got bit by a snake or a tree fell on them and there was blood all over the place and I'm asking her, help me Dylan, help me Dylan. She's just standing there looking. I, I really hope that she's not trying to be a school teacher or a nurse because you're gonna run into uh, accidents or tragedies or something happens. So, you know, a kid get their leg uh, broke or cut or glass and she just standing looking. You know, I know they're saying, oh, well, she was in shock and they got a fancy name for the shock uh, trauma. Not no eight hours you in shock that you in so shock. These kids out here today, I know from with my nieces and nephews and other family members, children, they stay on that social media. Every little thing that they do, any, anything they're eating, anything that they see, they have to put it on social media. So why did not she go to social media and say, hey, you guys, this ABC that happened, what should I do? The average little kid that's 10 years old or, or even five years old, they know to call 911 or go run outside or run out looking for help. I, uh, both of these young ladies, I believe they say they're 21. I, I, don't, I don't understand. When I look at this young girl, all these young girls, pretty girls, they all model looking girls to me, you know. When I look at this Dylan girl again, I looked at her, maybe what's the other picture she had, they had up of her to me. And yes, I'm going to cut off the comments because like I said, I'm getting down to the real nitty gritty. I'm not put, I'm not leaving nothing off, nothing off. Uh, she looks cunning. She looked a little uh, mischievous, maybe sneaky as my auntie would say, one of my little older aunties would say, who's really was a, a she's a wise, smart, tough cookie woman. She looks like a wannabe femme fatale to me. That's why I say we need a woman detective or FBI agent to get in there and get little Miss Dylan in a room and talk to her and try to get some more information because what she's saying is not gelling to me. So here they're saying, and I'm not going to go through all this. They said an affidavit was released January the 5th, 2023. Um, um, that says Martinson saw the killer. However, 911 was not called until 11.58 a.m. Um, hours later, which we already know this happened. They're saying something about the other lady, Zana, ordered food through DoorDash. And then she was... That's what I'm saying. Uh, she was on social media at 415, showing the people talking about the food that she ordered. So here they're saying the homicides occurred between 4 a.m. and 425. An anonymous Idaho law enforcement source told the New York Post that the eight hour gap is in reporting the crime has been something that we have puzzled over. We don't know if it was an issue of intoxication or fear. Okay, so here's some information about these two young ladies. They're both 21. Uh, 
Miss Bethany and Miss Dylan. Uh, they say that Miss uh, Dylan graduated from Boise, Idaho High School, so she's from Boise. It's really scary because you send your young people, that's the same thing like with the Uvalde uh, tragedy. You send your kids to school, whether it's uh, church school, whether it's private school, public school, elementary, high school, and college, you think that your children will be safe because they are in college, they are in school, they are in a school environment. They're not on the street, they're not on a street corner, they're not in a club. They're, you know, they, they should be safe at school. So here, uh, someone is saying, the neighbor saying that the area was quiet. That normally that these kids, their little house is rowdy. It was quiet that night. That's, that's really weird. Neighbors are saying that they normally would have parties and it would get quiet by 10. Uh, they will see the kids sitting around at the patio fire, uh, drinking beer. It looked like they were really partying it up, drinking beer. I think I saw a couple pictures of some of them with um, beer in their hands, and you know. In December, an Idaho pastor read a letter from Martinson and Funk about the victims at a memorial service for for them. According to CNN, Mortison's letter described Kern Noodle as the life of the party, but also strong, intelligent, hardworking, and a beautiful person. She described Chapin, uh, which was uh, her boyfriend, as a sweet, loving person. Kern Noodle and his girlfriend were like older brother to Mortison, so that she looked up to them like her brother and sister. Okay, so let's get back to Okay, so let's get back to this. I saw, I had to look this up. I, I don't know if what this young lady is is having or what happened to her was traumatic syndrome or was it a PTSD where she was just, because I know they say when people have uh, suffered a traumatic experience that they can have like a brain, brain freeze uh, it, and it will work on their psyche um so maybe it's possible uh that could have been what happened i know when i first heard about this i thought it was like one hour or a couple minutes i didn't know it was eight hours so the thing that comes to my mind i'm just keeping it real was there someone else in the house did she have a a, a, a friend over someone that she didn't want anybody to know about um, could they have been, I don't know, someone had mentioned, I was looking at something on Reddit, could they have, I don't know, had marijuana, allegedly y'all, allegedly, I want anybody to say, allegedly, mushroom, maybe they were, uh, you know, had went out, I mean, out like, you know, got drowsy or sleepy, maybe she was in a zone, maybe she thought, I didn't see what I thought I saw. Maybe it was me, you know, dreaming or, you know, something like that. Uh, for some reason, I don't know, I guess I'm just suspicious. I don't believe it. Uh, I, I just feel like something else happened. I, I have not heard anything about Bethany. What did she say? What what did this girl, uh, Dylan, tell her? Nothing. We don't know anything. And it just, for me, it, it makes these people look even further suspicious in my eyes. Yes, in my eyes. Someone was mentioning about people being in shock. I know that something had happened to one of my neighbors. And I know she was explaining how when this happened, all she could do was just stand and just look. But when I think about with Dylan and Bethany, well, eight hours, it, 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 I mean, I'm just stuck on eight hours. From 4.30 or 4.25 to 12 o'clock noon or 11 something, what, what, what happened? Who did they call? I mean, did the police, did they check these young ladies' cell phone? Who, who did these ladies call? 
I don't know you guys, but um, for me, uh, I know people say it's the flight or fight. You know, we have in our bodies, we're gonna either fight, I guess I'm one of them, because I'm all about fighting, uh, or we're gonna run. I, for me, to me, there seems to be some bias here. It's, it's, it's again, yes, I'm bringing that word up. It's some bias. It's some, it's some bias. It's some um, mink gloves therapy going on with the detectives, the cops, with the Dylan girl. I don't know if they're bewitched by her beauty. <laughs> you know, that's why I say bring in some ladies. Get, get a woman detective, woman FBI agent in there. Uh, because it's it doesn't gel right. What brought, came to mind, uh, I remember this happened years ago. Socialite, originally from Texas. I don't know if she was originally from Texas, but she married an old man. They were from Texas. And then they moved to New York, Georgette Moss Baker. And I think they she got promoted, not promoted, she was appointed to be ambassador of Poland, okay? So I remember, I think that was in the 90s or the late 90s. It didn't take her eight hours to call the police. So she was in her high rise penthouse, uh, getting on an elevator to her uh, room. And I remember they said that she kept saying how handsome the man was. The man was handsome. He was dressed in a nice suit, but he pulled a gun on her and took $30,000 worth of diamonds, jewelries off of her. And so she ran back into the um, elevator, called, punched a button, calling for help. It didn't take this lady, it didn't take her eight hours to call for help. It didn't take her eight hours to, you know, go sleep and think, and, you know, she immediately got on the phone and rang for help. Can't believe uh miss dylan I, I really would like to see her uh further investigated and not for them to just drop this four people were massacred ambushed taken away uh and it should have never happened and we have someone who say they witness it and we got this dude, the monster, the diabolical devil trash heathen saying he didn't do it. It wasn't him, but your DNA is found. The FBI agents saw him taking, you know, something and putting it uh, in the, his daddy's uh, neighbor's trash can in the middle of the night. Who does that?